Hey guys, I'm Basil and this is the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G. The Note 20 Ultra 5G packs an S Pen, as all notes do, but this is the best S Pen we've ever seen. Why? Because you have a 9 millisecond latency. That's incredibly, incredibly quick. It means you won't even notice the time it takes for whatever you write on the screen or draw to appear. That works across S Note, but it also works across other applications too, which I'll come on to later. But I'm going to start with S Note. S Note is great for these simple sketches, for example. Um, you've got an expanded color palette, which you didn't have when the Note 10 came out, um, and that makes doodling stuff, filling in marked areas, really nice and intuitive. Um, you don't have to spend ages manually selecting the color, but you've also got some advanced text tools. So, for example, I can convert handwritten notes into plain text or I can just straighten out my off angle notes so they look that bit neater. Perfect for sharing out without having to hang your head in shame as to how messy your notes are. And what's also cool is obviously the third party app support and specifically for me that comes in the form of Autodesk Sketchbook Pro. As you can see, I'm cracking on with a doodle and I'm starting already across two layers. I did the initial base sketch and I'm doing another sketch over the top. You can actually have over 300 layers on a phone that's powerful enough and indeed the Note 20 Ultra 5G is. And that's a full screen resolution, which is why Quad HD Plus. So you can really, really have a huge amount of freedom to create drawings across tons and tons of layers and then export them to Photoshop and edit them on a computer afterwards. So with this phone, with Autodesk Sketchbook, you've kind of got an artist's palette anywhere you are. And the same can be said of old note devices. Indeed, I didn't experience any slowdown with old note devices, um, but I also didn't work across as many layers as I've worked across here with such little slowdown. So that's excellent stuff. So what I always do when I draw is I draw a base layer which is super, super dark and then I do another layer which is super, super light. And then I just layer up the colors. Um, because I've got that granular control over all the layers, I can change the vibrancy, the saturation or specifically, and the luminance of each layer. And I can also customize the color balance. I had the note set to high vibrancy the screen settings. Um, so when I was drawing this, I didn't realize, but I made her super, super zingy. But it was very easy to switch out because I could go to a granular level um, and just reduce the saturation and change the color balance on those very, very granular layers that I created. So the darks, the lights, etc. I'm not an artist, I'm just a recreational user, but I'm explaining all of this stuff um, as an intro to Autodesk Sketchbook for anyone who wants to experiment and take things to the next level. And indeed, all of this stuff will work on existing pen devices, um, Note devices specifically. I have done some sketches on Huawei devices with the M Pen um, and I find that they're not quite as accurate and that the pen tip just isn't where the pen tip or the dot on screen isn't where the pen tip lines up so the alignment just isn't quite as on point as with Note devices. My preference really is Notes for sketching or indeed the iPad Pro. Um, my problem with the iPad Pro um, software is I love it and like I love specifically Procreate but Procreate isn't available for Android so that's why I default to Sketchbook. Concepts has made its way but unfortunately I don't enjoy using it quite as much because it's very very buggy at the moment on Android. So like I said you can export files to a multi-layered PSD file and indeed that's what I've done. Um, I couldn't quite get an application to nail the typography on Android. I tried Canva and it just didn't do the project justice. I really wanted to get this done for a review I'm writing. Um, and in turn, brought it into Photoshop, played about, tried to recreate the time cover. Obviously, I watched Knock Down the House a couple of times. If you haven't seen it, it is excellent. It is on Netflix. Um, but yeah, I wanted to just get like the photo created effectively on my phone and I feel like I've done a decent job. I did this drawing in a few hours. I would have loved to have spent longer on it to have really tried to get a bit more of a photorealistic look rather than a sketch. 
but nonetheless I'm really happy with how far I've got and hopefully um, you're impressed by just how much you can achieve with a smartphone. Hopefully you've enjoyed this quick speed sketch with the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G. It may have been quick for you but I can assure you it was not quick for me. Any comments, feedback, questions please fire them below and I will do my best to answer and stay tuned to stuff.tv where my full written review of the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra will be appearing later this week. Thanks for watching.